It's time for fucked up shit. Okay. Let's see, three, four years ago. Wall Street Journal attacks PewDiePie. Or, if you want to use his uh, other name in Swedish, Felix Arvid Ulf Kelberg. Yeah, that was fucking hilarious. Yeah, they wrote a hit piece for that shit. Then every year, right about the beginning of the year, we have this adpocalypse thing resurface every year like clockwork. Let's see, what was it? Two, maybe three years ago, I don't remember how many. Logan Paul doing a, a dead body in a video. And after that, they tried to take another swing at uh, Pewds again. Oh my god, he said the N word. Okay, grow the fuck up. Look up the word in the dictionary. It just means an ignorant person. Quite honestly, I'm surrounded by those. All fucking niggers everywhere. And uh, then at the start of this year, what was it? Fucking uh, after three or four years in a row, everything's kind of blending together because it's just a fucking pattern. This is copy and paste, same action. We start an adpocalypse, get everyone riled up. <coughs> demonetize everyone on YouTube, make the advertisers pull the fuck out, then we sneak in more of our corporate shit, we get that fucking uh, sponsored by advertisers, while everyone else gets absolutely fuck all nothing. That's the pattern that's going on here. What was it? It's bugging the hell out of me. Earlier this year, what was it that that jackass bitching about uh, fucking um, pedophiles or child molesters or some shit making stupid comments on YouTube? Yeah, that's all a bunch of fucking eight-year-olds doing that shit. So then they want to punish the content creators because of people commenting on their shit. That is fucking retarded. Oh yeah, a little while back. What was it, last year? 2018? Angry Joe's entire channel basically gets fucking copyright claimed by some bitch company it just doesn't fucking end does it let's see how do we fix this problem and this is an everybody problem The thing is, they're, they're using terrorism, legitimately. They're making everyone afraid of demonetization so that they can control the narrative of this uh, social justice or feminazi or whatever bullshit they're doing. I don't fucking care what it is. It's all copy and paste bullshit. Seen it all. It's just the same shit over and over again. You 
I mean, you could say it's censorship, but, you know, censorship, terrorism, it's basically the same fucking thing now. How, how do we fix this? How do we fix it? See, if it was strictly about the fucking money... then uh, they'd be doing things slightly a bit different. Well, it's not about the fucking money. That's just a surface level that they want everyone to see. What is it about? A want for control? Is that is that what you corporate fuckwits want? This false idea of control. That, that's an illusion. <clears throat> you can't control other people. And uh, there's an old story. I don't, I don't know if it's true or not. About this dude trying to kill the ocean by wringing the life out of it. And the more he squeezed, the more the water slipped between his fingers. Yeah, that's what you got going on here. You're trying to wring the life out of the ocean with your own hands. Can't fucking do that. That's impossible. The best anyone can do is control themselves. That's a big, tall order. It really is. Especially considering the truth that you haven't focused on training people to be um, honorable, respectful, self-disciplined, to control themselves. Nah, you haven't been teaching them that in schools or anything. So you've got yourselves to blame for the current situation that you're in. All, all you fucking CEOs and corporate idiots. You really, you really want shit to go the way you want it to go. But what you're wanting here is just fucking absurd. Seriously. Oh yeah, there was that big ISIS scare. That was another adpocalypse they did to demonetize a bunch of channels. Yeah, that happened like a few years ago. It's just one shit right after the next. Manufactured terrorism. That's, that's what's going on. Eventually, it's all going to hit critical mass, and like you're going to have some pissed off jackass who's going to make the YouTube headquarters shooting comparatively look like Bob Ross's day painting with Mr. Rogers. You're really going to push people that fucking far. <clears throat> I don't think you want to be doing that because if if they get pissed off enough and they start digging to find out who's really responsible for this shit they will come for you it'll be one of those fucking um, taken movie spinoffs in real life they'll find you and they'll fucking kill you because if you push people far enough and they go off the deep end you push them off the fucking ledge of their sanity It's just going to be a shit show at that point. <clears throat> kind of like how fucking Jim Sterling was 
going on about uh, warning the gaming industry, you know, stop doing this shit, it's going to bite you in the ass. I followed him telling EA, fuck, even, uh, even several years ago, well, how long was it ago? YouTube channel Extra Credits did an open letter to EA telling them, you know, basically stop doing this bullshit. It's time for you to make your name mean what it used to mean before you did this shit. They didn't fucking listen. And now they're standing in front of uh, Congress or some shit, spouting more lies, trying to save face, backpedal. It's not fucking working, is it, EA? So those of you who think you're in charge, you're really not. If you keep doing this dumb shit, it's just going to come right back around and bite you in the ass. You know, some people call that karma, and it is a real fucking thing. It's a, an automated system of rules and regulations. You keep fucking breaking these rules, and this boulder of a debt is just going to keep growing in your karmic value, in your spreadsheet, as it were. And eventually it's just going to fucking crush you. And for some of you it's too fucking late. You know like Bobby Kotick, Randy Pitchford, Susan Widgebitch. That's just to name a few. Well, there's dozens that it's too late for. I mean, the best thing you can do is just, you know, kill yourself and save Satan the fucking trouble. That is the best you can hope for. Because it's too fucking late. Your karmic debt is already falling. It's going to fucking crush you. But for everyone else, it's not too late. You can pull out of this fucking nosedive before you hit the fucking ground. And you can try and save what little dignity you've got left. I would say I speak from experience, but um, I don't fucking remember my past life. Just, uh, you know, one or two little tiny memories here or there. But, you know, when, when you threaten to skull fuck Satan and you wind up dead, that it's, it's just fucking proof. There you go, you have it. Hey, everybody. All you CEOs and corporate idiots. I'll work with you to pull you out of this fucking nosedive you're all in. Same with the, the fucking uh, world leaders and shit. You're all in a fucking nosedive. Whatever thrill or exhilaration you're getting, that's your, your genetically programmed instincts telling you, hey, this is bad, you shouldn't be doing it. Kind of like how an adrenaline junkie jumps off of a fucking building just for that rush. Yeah, getting addicted to that fucking rush is a bad thing for you. Because eventually, there's that uh, fucking one in a million shot where you're just going to go... <laughs> but for this, uh, this social, psychological, and political bullshit that's going on, there's a 100% probability. It's not even a chance. It's 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 an absolute certainty. It's 100% certain. If you don't pull out of this nosedive, you're gonna fucking go splat. And you're you're not gonna think it's pretty. For some people, they're gonna laugh at you. They're gonna think it's fucking hilarious that you got what you deserved because you just kept going, and kept going. Oh yeah, there's another one that's too late for it.
Todd Howard and a bunch of uh, CEOs over at fucking uh, Bethesda. Just way too late for those idiots. I'm not talking about the developers who actually bash out the code. No, no, those guys are just being shit on. Jim Sterling covered that. Uh, let's see. Three or four other YouTubers covered that. Including Young Yeah. started that fucking loot box shenanigans all the way back uh, when they took over visceral games well that's when I noticed it uh, someone told me it started way before then but for me I noticed it when they took over visceral games and they pumped out Dead Space 3 and just fucking loaded it with uh, fucking microtransactions in the early stages of the current loot box bullshit whatever you call it, it it's just fucking gambling it's a fucking Skinner box technique you get someone addicted to pushing a button and seeing bright shiny sparkly lights and shit because they're mentally primitive and immature and you condition them to keep doing it over and over because they want to see the bright sparkly lights same thing in casinos. You put a coin in the slot machine, you pull the lever, it goes, doo -doo 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 -doo, makes noise, flashes lights. And then the first roller stops, lights go on, noises. Yeah, it's, it's fucking psychological manipulation. That's all it is. Well, this bullshit with uh, fucking YouTube. Oh, fucking hell. There are no sparkly lights going off. There, there are no good noises to be heard. It's just a fucking shit show. That's all it is. I can try to work with the the so-called people in charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quotation fingers. I can try to work with you assholes. Try and help pull you out of this fucking nosedive you're going into. But, uh, I'm not going to do the work for you. I can tell you what the fuck to do. And then you can put it into action. But you're the one who has to put it into fucking action. Not me. It's not my karmic debt that's going to kill you. It's yours. Same with bureaucrats, politicians, all the so-called people in charge. Yeah, I can work with you. Fuck, I know a few people who can work with you. I know a few people who know all the rules better than I do. I can point you in the right direction, try to introduce you, but that's not guaranteeing any damn thing. Especially if, if you're uh, narrow-minded and you're stuck in your ways and you don't want to change then it's going to be a real problem for you what inspired me to go off rambling like this was seeing that they're demonetizing Cody's lab again 
one video where he talks about the toxicity of what was it mercury yeah liquid metal mercury he's doing that for educational purposes and alphabet google youtube whoever the fucks in charge wants to go off and say okay we're gonna demonetize you fuck you we don't care I don't give a fuck what you call it. It's just being a bitch. You can call it your social justice warrioring or, or your censorship or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You're just being a bitch. Just like all those companies claiming people's videos uh, fucking violating the copyright nonsense where YouTube says okay we're gonna tell them that you're filing a dispute but we don't think they'll do anything uh -huh. no not really fuck you we don't care what the fuck what's the point in filing a fucking dispute when you own the content you make and you're using something that someone else made as a point point of reference And as an informative tool when you're deconstructing what's going on and explaining it the well, fuck that's totally fair use by YouTube's terms of service we're letting the fucking corporations walk in and, and stomp all over people because of fucking money or control or some vainglorious ideolo ideology it's all complete bullshit and a bunch of people just being bitches just because they fucking can. Because they think they're better than everyone else. And that's where you're fucking nose diving. There we go. I explained a good bit of it right there. It's just a fucking annual cycle. Same shit over and over again. Yeah, it's just way past time to stop. You should never have started. All you're doing is pissing off everybody. It's not a good thing. It's a very, very bad thing. All this stress that you're, you're piling on top of everyone. And remember, CEOs and so-called people in charge, you're outnumbered by a few hundred thousand to one maybe even a billion that's pushing it a bit but it's, it's okay to say you're outnumbered by a million to one because uh, last statistical analysis I saw there was roughly seven or eight billion people on the planet yeah, you're way outnumbered. And once you've pissed off everybody enough, and they grab their torches and pitchforks and their fucking guns and shit, and they start a fucking uh, civil war, you're not going to survive. Because that's where this shit's headed. It's not a good thing, no. But that's exactly where the fuck you're headed in this nosedive. I'm gonna have no fucking part of it. None at all. Except, you know, I'll work with you to help you try and pull out of this nosedive before you fucking crash. That's it. That's the only part I'll have in this. But for everyone else, All you can do is control yourself. Yeah, they're not making it difficult, are they? Piling on all that extra stress on everyone. No, not making it not making it easy at all, making it really difficult. Well, that's just the shit storm that everyone's in right now. 
Well, it's not just America. It's all across the fucking planet. But nobody's separated in this. It's time for everyone to uh, work together or fall the fuck apart. Is that the only two options that's available for everyone? Uh, there's a couple of other options, but um, right now it's not time for uh, a, a neutral jing, as it were. It's not time to sit down and rest and relax. It's time to seriously hit the brakes and do a 180 on where everything's headed. Because, you know, going downhill about to go off a fucking cliff and crash yourself is not a good thing. There we go. I've rambled on about some more dipshittery. Well, that's it for this one. Until next time. Bye.